Hello and welcome to In My Opinion with Uther. Today we're going to talk about Lisa Su, the best CEO in America today, and what where she's brought AMD, my opinions, and everything. Um, this is going to be a video. It's going to be five minutes or less. So please, if you make it to the end, like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you next time. Uh, for today, we're going to talk about Radeon 6000 series. Uh, I'm really excited to see the performance. Hopefully, that's the performance we're going to see when they actually come out on the 18th of November 2020. And if not, if what I would really like to see is a little more than that, um, no launch issues, no software issues, just hit the ground running. Let's go. Let's make sure this is smooth. Um, as well as obviously on uh, when Radeon 5000 launches next week, what I, the performance needs to be there. The pricing needs to be there. They need to stack onto this with the 57 to 5600 or 67 to 6600 next year, get it out early next year, make sure people have options. Um, in the more affordable mainstream area and that it's competitive. I wish they had been a little more um, price conscious, a little more aggressive with pricing because they're obviously trying to get Radeon back on the map. But I can see where they're coming from when it comes to staying, uh, keep with their stock and their finance, keeping their profit margins up, being competitive and having such a great product. Um, now that they have Mindshare with Ryzen, maybe Radi that can carry Radeon. I'm not sure if it will, but we'll, we'll see. Um, what I would else I would like to see going forward is they need to really start winning laptops. That's the biggest part of the market. They need to make sure that they get back in the surface again this time and a much better version than the 3000. They need to make sure that they have minimum requirements to have certain models, Ultrabooks with higher end RAM. I want to see 3600, 3700 megahertz RAM standard in a lot of the uh, Ultrabook models um, above seven or eight hundred dollars. I also want to make sure that we see mobile versions of 6000 series sooner than later. All right, that is very important. I understand that they're just trying to get into laptops, but if part of the 6000 series advantage is running with 5000 series, then they need to make sure that next year when they launch 5000 series mobile, that they get 6000 series out and maybe even now. Uh, and they need to also make sure that the 5000 series mobile has more. Uh, PCIe lane so they can actually put a full-size GPU in there. Obviously currently anything 2060 and up there's no max P version uh, that I've found um, as a sales supervisor for computing um, that I can recommend or teach my associates to recommend um, right now so pretty much if I see a 2060 max P um, somebody wants RTX ray tracing they're going Intel and obviously I'm not the biggest fan of selling Intel mobile to people right now because of the performance issues the efficiency issues but we have to think more about the customer and the design of the laptop than just the performance. When I talk to um, uh, train and work with uh, customers, uh, but as a person that deals with that, uh, they still have a, uh, AMD has a long ways to go to get Mindshare back. And that's what they need to work on. It's all about Mindshare right now, efficiency and software. All right, I understand that they're, they've been good for a couple years now, but they need to continue to stick with the basics, continue to win the basics, keep those going, and then stack on top of that. Get the software right, get the marketing right, keep the t uh, keep stacking the teams and leapfrogging to make sure there's always somebody working on the next two series of processors and graphics cards. Lisa Sue, continue what you're doing. We as consumers are winning. Three. Big companies now with AMD purchasing Xilinx, Nvidia purchasing ARM, and Intel already being the massive company they are. Um, CPUs only being a small part of the market for them um, as they continue to grow. Um, we're winning. And let's continue. Again, if you liked my first video, this is my first full video, uh, please thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day. I'll see you next time.